If you're like me, it's not a big deal to spend a little bit more money if I'm getting a lot better value. But when it comes to penetrating fluids, does it really make any difference? Now, in past testing with superglue, what we discovered was ingredients make a huge difference and the least expensive superglue happened to outperform the rest of the other brands. With regard to duct tape, what we saw was the opposite. The most expensive brands outperform the least expensive brands, and there was a direct correlation between price and performance. So, will we discover the same trend with these penetrating fluids? In one instance, Croil is $15 a can compared to several of these other products, which are around $4 to $5 a can. Also, we'll be using a homemade brew of automatic transmission fluid and acetone to see if it can perform as well or even better than these other brands. I don't have a multi-million dollar lab, but what I do have is 30 very rusty lug nuts and a whole bunch of penetrating fluids. So let's go ahead and get the testing underway. So these are half inch grade eight wheel lug studs torqued to 100 foot pounds. Getting wheel lug studs to rust equally is an impossible thing to do. So I decided to buy new wheel lug studs and lug nuts for this test. Then I used a powerful acid to remove the zinc coating. Then I used a powerful oxidizer while the wheel lug studs were in a vertical position so that the oxidizer would flow down into the threads equally. Also, the beveled end of a lug nut is touching the steel. I didn't want to put the flat edge down because the rust between the flat edge and the steel could end up causing some extra drag on some bolts than others. So to me, this seemed like a better way to do the testing is to have the beveled end down to minimize the surface exposure. I'll be using a synthetic automatic transmission fluid for our homebrew penetrating fluid. I'm going to use one part of acetone and one part of automatic transmission fluid. So what I'm going to do is use the first four bolts as our control. Once we know what the torque readings are, I'm going to disconnect this angle iron, put it in a vertical position, apply the penetrants to each of these wheel lug studs, and allow it to soak for several hours. Okay, I'm about to go ahead and start applying these different penetrating fluids. These are the four bolts we just worked with. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and cover these up so we can compare the amount of rust and to see if any of these products are actually dissolving rust. I'm gonna start first with the acetone automatic transmission fluid mix. This is Coral. This stuff is $15 a can. This is the most expensive product we'll be testing. This stuff seems to have quite a following. There's a lot of positive comments on it. So I went ahead and spent the $15 just to test what it's capable of doing. It's designed to lubricate, remove rust. It's also for cleaning and it's a rust preventer. The big claim this product makes though is that it loosens frozen metal parts. It says it can actually creep into openings as small as one millionth of an inch. This is Liquid Wrench, and it claims it can dissolve rust and cuts through grease. So this is PV Blaster. It's supposed to be the number one selling penetrant. It's supposed to break free rusted and frozen parts, protect against further rust and corrosion, and attack rust from all angles using their unique capillary action. Royal Purple is known for their synthetic products. This is a synthetic penetrant lubricant. It's supposed to provide some good wear protection, prevent rust and corrosion, and loosed, rusted, and stuck parts. So what all can WD-40 do? It's supposed to be able to lubricate. It's supposed to protect from rust. It's also supposed to be a penetrant as well as a water displacement product. Okay, I still got two bolts left. If I mess up on one, I've got an opportunity to do another set of tests if I need to. So it's been right at one hour. This is the acetone ATF mix. What I want to point out is there seems to be a lot of oily film still left. That would be the automatic transmission fluid. So to me, this seems like it's going to continue to try to work its way into the threads. 
Okay, this is the Croil. It looks to me like most of what has been there is either evaporated off or it's absorbed down into the threads. This is a liquid wrench, and very much like the Croil, it looks like it's absorbed down into the threads or it's evaporated off. Now this product claims it dissolves rust. I can't visibly determine whether or not any more rust has been removed from this compared to the Croil. It looks to me about the same. PB Blaster doesn't seem to have as much of an, a film left behind as Liquid Wrench or Croil. It seems to be a lot drier. So this is Royal Purple Max Film. Compared to PB Blaster, it looks like there's more of the Royal Purple left on the threads and the nut. This is WD-40, and it's very clear. There's still a lot of WD-40 left. This stuff just doesn't evaporate off as quickly as the other ones. I'm going to go ahead and apply the second dose of penetrance. I went ahead and mixed up the ATF acetone mix. Okay, so it's been right at three hours, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and bolt this down and we'll begin testing. Okay, so we had 28 bolts that we used for the test. We still have two left. So what I want to do now is use some heat. I'm just curious if heat is a better alternative than penetrating fluids. In the past, when I've ever had a stuck bolt, I always applied the torch and it seems to work really well. So I'm just curious if it will help. So when it comes to dealing with rusty bolts, one thing is for certain, something is better than nothing. If you use any of these products, you're doing better than if you use nothing at all. Now I was sort of skeptical because I haven't really seen a whole lot of results from using penetrating fluids in the past, but you never really know until you actually do a study like this and actually see that it works. However, when it comes to value, it's very clear that some products are better than others, and in this case, the least expensive product at $4 a can liquid wrench beat all the competition. I went ahead and organized these from first to worst place. The first place is liquid wrench, automatic transmission fluid, and acetone is second. If you decide to do a home brew of this stuff, please be careful when you're using it. Acetone is a pretty harsh chemical and it can do damage to vehicle paint or to plastic or rubber parts. And it'll soak through certain types of rubber gloves. Even if you're trying to protect yourself, you have to be careful with it. Then there's Royal Purple. It's $13 a can. It's a pretty good product, but that's a lot of money for a third place finish. Then there's Water Displacement 40 or WD-40, not really known as a penetrant, but it delivered a respectable fourth place, out competing both PB Blaster and of course Croil. 
I was really hoping to see Croil come out on top or at least second place because I did pay a lot of money for this product and it has such a great following and a lot of people really advocate for this product as being a top-notch performer. Now the only thing that seems to work better than a penetrant is using some heat as we saw but heat's not always an option and you may not have time to apply some heat. So is there a penetrant that's better than the ones I tested? If so, I'd really like to hear about that. Anyway, I have a lot of fun doing these videos. You guys give me some great video ideas. Please keep those ideas coming. I read and reply to just about every one of your comments, so you're not wasting your time when you provide a comment. Thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you'll like, share, and subscribe. Please take care and look forward to seeing you next time.